Pacific City Council hearing from folks making heartfelt pleas for help after all the business shutdowns and cancellations from 2020. I'm Brian Mudd. I'm Lauren Motter. The city is set to receive $56 million in relief money from the federal government, but still has to decide how to spend it. Our Ryan Chandler has a look at some of the people who are asking the city for some help. Lauren, City Council heard people from all walks of life today, small business owners, housing developers, orchestra conductors, all who have been struggling this year and hope the city will use part of the American Rescue Plan to rescue them. I spoke with one group of local musicians today who say in a year of capacity limits and shuttered concert halls, we can't stop the music. The arts need uh, funding in order for us to create um, the best concerts to our community. Maestro, come forward. Director of the Lubbock Symphony, David Cho, is one of the many Lubbock residents asking the city council for federal relief money today to recover from the pandemic. We were vigilant uh, throughout the 2020-2021 season. We were strong. But his symphony and the entire Lubbock art scene has suffered this year. Just 34 Lubbock businesses canceled more than a combined 1,900 events losing over half a million attendees and $5 million in revenue. The individual artists surveyed reported losing an average of $9,000 in arts-related income, putting more stress on a stressful year. An issue local musician Joy Harris said she knows too well. Through the shutdown, I personally know of 23 artists who have committed suicide, separate from all of the disease death. Artists are now turning to the city for a piece of the $56 million the federal government appropriated for Lubbock through the American Rescue Plan. Funding, the city says, is a lifeline for many. These are one-time funds, and people today consider them once-in-a-lifetime funds. And so, you know, you want to use these funds to make, make a difference and, and, and invest in the community in a meaningful way that will last for many years to come. Artists say no matter how the money is divided, the show must go on. Music and the arts, visual arts performances, they're not luxury. It's food for the soul and it's necessary, especially during these incredible times. So please help us. We will do our best to make uh, great music, great performances. Director Cho says the Lubbock Symphony is celebrating its 75th anniversary this year. They say they're looking forward to meeting more of the community and using whatever help they receive to keep the music going into the future.